Hey guys, Jenny here and welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I want to show you something made out of these two. These are Lotus Biscoff Cookies and Biscoff Cookie Butter. I will try to make some cupcakes out of these cinnamony biscuits and the frosting made out of the cookie butter. So if you want to see how I do that, just stick around and I'll show you how it's done. Now let's start baking. We'll start off with a buttery biscuit paste and to do that, I have some melted butter in a big bowl. I melted this in the microwave and to that, I'll just add some crushed Biscoff cookies. I crushed them in a Ziploc bag and just mashed them with something hard. If you have a rolling pin, that would be a perfect tool. But you can also use a food processor if you have that. But I don't. So, <laughs> so just give them a good mix until it looks like wet sand and that's pretty much it. I have a cupcake tin that I lined with some paper liner and we'll just add about half a tablespoon of these biscuit base in each liner. Be prepared to make about 18 to 24 cupcakes with this recipe. Once the biscuit base has been distributed to all cupcake tins, just press them to form a crust. I just used the back of a tablespoon to do this but you can use a small glass if you have that. The base is ready for the oven. Just bake them for about 5 minutes in a 350 degrees Fahrenheit preheated oven. While the crust is baking, let's start making the cupcake batter. We start off by mixing all the dry ingredients in a big bowl. So that will be the flour, salt, and baking powder. And then just give that a good whisk until they're all well combined. And that's basically our dry ingredients and we can set it off to the side. In another bowl, we'll mix all the wet ingredients. We start off by creaming the sugar and the butter together. Then just give them a good whisk using a hand mixer or a whisk. Once they're well combined, we can now add in our two eggs and just beat them in with the butter and sugar. Oh, that's looking good. We can now add in our flavorings and that will be the vanilla extract and the Biscoff cookie butter. And then just continue beating until they're all well combined. So we'll add our dry ingredients and milk alternately. So add about half of your dry ingredients and mix that in. Once that's looking good, add in all of your buttermilk and just continue whisking. And then once they're all well combined, add in the rest of the dry ingredients and just continue beating. So what this does is it prevents your batter from separating. Now I like to finish off with a spatula just to make sure that I get everything well combined without overbeating. Now our cupcake batter is ready for the cupcake tin. Just distribute them to our cupcake tins that we have lined with paper liners. And the bottom is the cookie batter, about 3 quarters of the way full. And then we are going to bake them for about 18 to 20 minutes in a 350 degrees Fahrenheit preheated oven. Test them with the skewer. If your skewer comes out clean, you know they're done. If they're not, if they're still a little bit wet, give them about 2 to 3 more minutes in the oven and then test them again with the skewer. So while the cupcakes are baking, let's start making our Biscoff cookie butter frosting. So like normal frosting, we'll beat in our butter first, but this time we'll combine it with a little bit of that Biscoff cookie butter. Just beat them until they're all well combined. It's looking good. And now we can add in half of our powdered sugar and just continue beating. So like what I always tell you, make sure that you start on low speed, otherwise your powdered sugar just goes flying everywhere. So 
Now, when the first half of your powdered sugar is well incorporated, we can now add in the second half of our powdered sugar. And this is when it starts to get a little bit weird. You may notice that they start clumping together and they look very unfrosting-like. And that's fine. Just continue beating. Now, I'll start adding a little bit of milk into my frosting and this is what will make it all come together. I add one tablespoon at a time and just beat that until they're all well combined. If it's still too unfrosting-like, I'll add one more tablespoon. Just make sure that you gradually add them because if you add a lot of milk at once, your frosting may turn too runny. I added a total of about 3 tablespoons in these frosting. No, I think I added four. I think this is the fourth tablespoon. So you will add about two to four tablespoons. Just make sure that you gradually add them and eyeball it. If it looks like the consistency that you want for your frosting, you can stop. If you find that your frosting became too runny because you added too much milk, just add in a little bit more powdered sugar and that should fix it. Now we're ready to frost the cupcakes, but first make sure that your cupcakes are cool. Otherwise, if they're still a little bit warm, your frosting will just melt. So I'm just using a plain round tip to do this and I'm just piping it like so. And then I'll top this off with half of that cookie butter on top and that's pretty much it. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I'll leave the links down below in the description bar. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye!